Hello guys and welcome back. So in this video we are going to focus on connecting different parts in the service class which we have created from previous videos. So this is going to be an important video, stick until the end. Also the source code and the link to the previous videos can be found in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. So to recap here, the media browser service is a entry point for browsing and playback commands from the app's UI. And also we, we can even allow other apps that wishes to play music via our application to, to control the media player service. And for this case here, we can even allow Android Auto or Google Assistant to control our playback. So for this case, this is just what we are going to implement here by providing the media sessions, which are going to help us to control the media playback. So now let's see here how we can implement this. Okay, now we want to create a curating scope that is going to be tied with this service. So when this service is going to be destroyed, then the curating scope also is going to be destroyed so we don't have memory leaks. And for this case here, now we can just create a job that is going to be from this service job. So we can just create a private val and we can just call this service job. And here we can just create a supervisor job. And after that, now we can just create here our scope. And now we can just create here our curating scope. And here we can just add here our service job. And basically we are just going to cancel this service job when we are going to finish up our service. And for that case, now we want to create our media session, which is going to help us to connect the media player. So here we're just going to create a media session compact. So media sessions provide a universal way of interacting with an audio or video player. So it's going to inform Android that media is playing in an app. So we can use this media session to control playback from different places like a physical button from a remote or Google Assistant. And for that case here, a newly created media session has no any capabilities. So we have to connect it to the player. And in order to do this, we have to create a connector. And luckily here, our exo player has a connector which is already implemented. So we can just pass in the instance of this class to connect between the media session and the media controller. Otherwise, if we could be using another media player for example the normal android media player we could have to create this media session connector so for that case we can just create here another private rate in it variable and we can just call this media session connector and now here we have our media session connector okay so also we want to allow the user to control the music playback in the notification so in order to do this we have to create a notification manager so we can just come here inside our media class inside our exo player and we can just create here a new coding class or file and this one we're just going to call it media player so we're just going to call it media player notification manager okay and we can just make this to be an internal class and basically here now we can just pass in several dependencies which this class requires so for our case here we can just pass in the context and also here we can just pass in the session tokens and here we can just use the media session compact dot token. And also here we want to get the notification listener. And we can just use this player notification listener. And we can just create here a variable that is going to help us to manage this notification. So we can just call this notification manager. And basically here we can just pass in the notification player manager. So we're just going to initialize this in a moment. So we can just come here inside an init block. And now here we have to get the media controller that is going to help us to control the media sessions using the notification. So we can just create here a media controller. And here basically we can just pass in the context and the session token. And for that case here now we can just create a builder that is going to help us to build the notification. Okay, and basically here now we can just pass in the context. And then we, we can just use here the constants and we can just pass in here the notification ID and make sure this notification ID is going to be an int. And also here we can just pass in the playback notification channel ID. So these are just the constants which we created previous in previous videos, which for now we are just going to use them. And for that case here, now we can just use this builder here to set up our channel. So we want to set here the description adapter, 
which is going to help us to set the description or the content of the of, of the media so you can just set here media description adapter and we're just going to create an instance of description adapter right now here so let's just set up here the notification listener and for our case here we can just pass in our notification listener which we have passed there and also here we can just set the channel resource id and here basically you have to pass in for, for example here we're just going to pass in a string so you can just pass any type of a screen here so we can just pass in here the notification channel and also we can just set here the notification we can set here the channel notification resource id and here we can just use ara.string.descriptions so basically here now we have set everything now we want to create here a description adapter which is going to help us to set the titles and other things or to provide the metadata to the notification manager so here we can just pass in the controller so we can just call here controller so this class here is going to inherit from the player notification description adapter so you can just come here to this media description adapter and here we have several classes which we have to implement so we can just implement all of these methods here okay so here we have to set the content so we can just use the player here the controller so you can just use this controller and we can just come here to get the description and basically here now we can just pass in the title and we can just transform this to a string and also here we just want to provide an intent so this intent here is going to be launched when the user clicks the notification so we can just make here the controller and we can just pass in here the session activity so for our case here this session activity is just going to be our main activity so when a user is just going to click this notification then it's just going to be directed toward our our player activity and for that case here also we can just provide the subtitle here and we can pass in here the subtitle so if you have an icon which you want to pass here so for our case we are just going to return null here so if you have an icon which you want to pass to this notification so you can just get this large icon so for our case we are just passing null here okay now here we can just come here and set our description adapter and basically here now we can just pass in here our media controller so this description adapter here will help us to pass in the metadata to this notification manager so for that case here we have set up our builder so we can just create here more room and we want to initialize our notification manager now and we can just use this builder and we can easily just build here and also here we can just use this with notification manager okay so here we can just set the media session token and basically here now we can just pass the session token and also here we want to set the small icon so here i have no any icon which i have created so you can just come here to resource manager and come to this vector asset here and easily we can just create here a music node so you can just pass in here this icon small icon you can just use ara.drawable and we can just use this icon baseline music node so you can provide here for example the logo of your your application or any other icon so for case we're just going to use that music node and then you can try here to set use rewind action so for case we can just pass in here false and set forward action and also here we can just set this to false we can just come below here to allow when the user is going to show or hide the notification so we can just create here a function that is going to be hiding the notification and here we have to pass in a player and we can just call this notification manager set player and we can easily pass in here our player okay now let's come here to our media player service and for our case here we can just create another private let in it variable and basically here we can just set our notification manager 
and also we can just set another variables which we are just going to use them so for our case here we can just check the current media the current playing item and also here we can just check if our and basically we can just set this to false and also here we want to check if this one is going to be is foreground okay so here we have our media player notification manager also we can just get the current playing media item so we are just going to use it in a moment and also here we are going to check if the player is initialized or not and also we can just check is the foreground service so this our service could not be a foreground service so we are just going to see it in a moment okay now here we're just going to create a companion object which is just going to help us to provide here some constants which are going to be related to this class so we can just create a private const val and here we're just going to call this tag And also here we want to create another variable and this one we are just going to call it current duration. So this current duration here is going to come in handy when we create our UI. So you just going to see this in a moment. And now here when we receive the on create command, we have to perform necessary initialization to set up our media browser. So we can just override here the on create. Okay, so here we want to create a session activity pending intent that is going to help us to launch the UI. So we are just going to call this session activity intent. And we can just use the package manager here to get the intent here. And we can just call get launch intent for and here we can just pass in the package name. So here we have our session intent. So we can just create here a new pending intent. We can pass here this for the context and request code to be zero. And also here we can just pass in here the session intent. And for that case here now we can just create the, we can pass in here flags. So we can just call this pending intent. Okay, so here we have our session intent here. So what we want to create also here, we want to initialize the media session. So we can just create here the media session. And we can use the media session compact here to create a new media session. And for here, we can just pass the context to be this. And also we can just pass in here our tag. And also here now we can just set the session activity. And here basically now we can just pass in here the session activity intent and for that case here also we can just set is active to be true so here we have our media session but we have to connect this to the media browser and for this case here we have to set the session in the session token so we can just call this session token which is the session token for this media browser so the media browser is going to connect to this media session we which we have created here and for that case here now we can just call this media session and we can pass in here the token okay now also let's initialize here our media player notification manager so we can just call here a new media player notification manager and basically here now we have to pass in here the context and we're just going to use the context of this activity and also we can just pass in here the media session dot session token so that we have our session token also we have to create here a notification listener so we can just come here below our on load children here and create another inner class Okay, so this class is going to inherit from the player notification manager. And we can select this notification listener here. And here there are just two methods which we want to override. The on notification cancel and the on notification posted. So inside here our on notification canceled. We want to stop the service if the notification is cancelled. So we don't want to continue to run our, our, our audio player if the notification has been dismissed by the user. So for this case here, we can just call stop foreground. And we want to remove also the notification and we can just basically pass through here. 
and we can check if this is foreground and here basically we can just pass back to force because our notification was cancelled and we don't want to continue to play the audio so we can just call stop self and for that case we have finished to stop and here now we come to our notification posted and what we want to do here we want to check if this is just going to be ongoing basically now here we want to start our foreground service because we are not in a foreground so we can just use this context compact and we can just call start foreground service and here basically we can just pass in the application context and we can start a new intent here and basically also here we can pass the application context and we want to pass the media activity and we can just call this dot java class so basically here now we we are going to start our foreground service and for this case here we want to also call start foreground and here basically now we want to post our notification so we can just pass in here the notification id and we can easily pass in the notification itself and basically here now we can pass in is foreground service here and we can just make this to be true and here basically we just set this player notification here so after that also we want to load our data so we can just use the service scope which we have created so we can just call this service scope dot launch and basically here now we can use our media source and here what we want to do you want to load our data and now also we want to initialize our media session connector so we can just call here media session connector and we can just create a new media session connector and this one requires us to pass in here the media session and we can call apply here to set some things which we want to to override so we can just set here the playback preparer which is going to help us to prepare our media for playing and also here we want to set the queue navigator so this queue navigator here is going to help us to navigate between different playback items okay now let's create here another inner class that is going to help us to prepare the media so we can just come below this player notification listener here and we can create another inner class so basically here we're just going to inherit from this media session connector.playback preparer and we can just override these several methods which are going to be provided here okay so basically here we're just going to return force and these are just places which we can easily customize our playback preparing and for example here we're just going to provide the supported actions which we want our application to support so for our case here we can just use the playback state compact here and provide this action prepare from media id and also we can just add this all in order to provide another playback state which we want to to prepare for so for our case here we want to provide this action play from media so here we could prepare from the media id or we can play from the from the media id so if for example if we pause for the first time then we can just easily use this here to to play back the the audio and here basically we are just going to return unit and we are just going to use this method here to prepare from the id and basically we are just going to implement that method in a moment but when you come here this one on prepare from search this one can be used by for example the google assistant in order to play back the audio so for our case here we are just going to return unit because this will be an overkill to implement inside this simple application here if you want to also prepare from a uri so for our case here we're just going to return unit so what we want here is to implement this on prepare from media id here okay so we can just create a little room here so the first thing which we want to get here is the item to play so here we are just going to use the media source and locate the media item which we want to play so we can just get the audio metadata and we can just use a kotlin find function here okay so here also we can just set the current playing media item which the first time we set it to null so we can just pass it to the item to play here and also we want to create a helper function that is going to help us to prepare the media so we can just come below this and create here a private function 
and this function here is going to take us the media metadata and also this one is just going to take up a list of audio metadata and also here we can just pass in the item to play and also this one is supposed to be media metadata compact So the first thing we want to get the index from where we are just going to start to play our media. So we can just call this index to play. And basically now we can just check if our current media item is going to be equal to null, we can just return zero. And else here we can just, and we can just pass in here the item to play index. So if our current playing media is going to be equal to null, we can just pass in here to be zero, or we can just start from the item to play here to get the index from where our media is going to start. So if the media is not inside, for example, here the item to play is going to be null, and here basically we are just going to start from zero, or if our current playing media is null, we are just going to start from the first item which we have inside our list. And for that case here, now we want to use the exo player, And we're just going to set this listener in a moment here so that we can easily execute our application. And also, we want to set the media source. And here basically now we can just use the media source. And we want to pass in here a data source factory which we have created from our previous videos. So basically here we are just using this media source and we are converting this by using the media source which we did from the previous videos. And for that case we can just prepare our exo player. We can just call this prepare. And basically here now we can just pass in the index and we want to start from zero position. play when ready. So basically here now we have just passed inside here our media source, we have prepared our media and here seek 2 we want to start from the index which we have here, the item which we have. So for the case here if this index is going to be null then we start from zero and otherwise we are just going to pass in the item index so if it could be a fifth item then, then we are just going to start from the fifth item to play our media and after that then we call this play when ready if the item is just ready. So we want to add here a listener which is going to listen to playback events that is going to help us to to manage the event of this of this exo player okay so inside here we want to override several methods so the first method here we want to override is on playback state change also we can just override on events and on player error so we're just going to use this method here to get the events from the player so that we can just react to different state changes. So for our case here, we can just pass in here a when statement. So we want to check between this playback state. So we can just pass in this playback state. So we could be in different states here. So for example, we can just use this player.state if we are, for example, buffering or we are just going to be in a state of state ready. So basically here, if we are just in a state buffering already, that means our player is just ready to play the audio. So we can just show the notification. So we can just call this media notification manager dot show notification. And basically here we can just pass in here our exo player. And here else we can just easily, we can just use this media player notification manager and we can easily stop the notification. So we can just hide this notification. So if we are not in this playback state, either buffering or state ready, we show the notification. And otherwise else, we can just easily hide the notification. And we implemented this method from the previous video here. And we have here the on events. And here we want to get the player duration so that we can just set our current duration. And for this case here, we can just call the current duration here and we can use this player the duration in order to get the duration of the player and this one here you can just use the on events in order to get a single event so for example here you're just getting event and also you want access to the player so you just override this method for those 
cases where you want the player and you want to obtain for example a single event otherwise you can just use this state ready here in order to execute your your functions so this on player is going to be executed on player error when we have any error so we can just create here a message and basically we could you could have any message here so for example here i have a message inside our string so we can just call this a generic error so if this is just a normal error unknown error so you can just pass in here a message and we want here to log we want to change this message if this error has been for example if not file not found so we can just check this if the error which we have here and we can just get the error code and this one is just going to be equal to playback exception and here we have our playback error file not found for example so if this is the case so for example if you could have you are fetching data from the http request you can just use the http error code here and for that case here now we can just reinitialize this message here and we can just use another message so for our case here we can just use this file not found media not found here and we can just create a simple toast message here and for that case here we have our player event states here and here basically now we can just pass in our player event listener and for that case here we have our media ready and what we want to do here we can just come to the place where we have to set the playback preparer and here basically now we can just pass in the audio playback preparer and what we want to implement again here is the queue navigator which is going to help us to navigate between items okay now let's create here a queue navigator And here now we can just pass in the media session. And this queue navigator here requires us to pass in the media session. So we can just pass in here this media session compact. And for that case here now we can just implement this one method here which it requires us to implement here. And here we have access for the player and also we have access to this window index which is just going to be the index of the playing media item so then when we are navigating here we are just getting this window index and for this case here we have to check if we are out of bound and then we can just limit this and here basically now we have to check if our window index is going to be less than our media media sources item so we can just get this audio metadata and we can check the size so if we are just this must be less than so if we are just less than this size here we can just navigate to the next item otherwise we are just going to return an empty so here we can just return this item and here we can just use our media source and we can use here our window index and we can just call the description and basically return our description and otherwise here we are just going to return an empty item so we can just return here a media description so here we check if the window index is not out of bound and navigate to the next item and otherwise here we are just going to queue this navigation and return just an empty media description compact and here basically we can just pass in the queue navigator and we can just pass in here our media session okay now after we finish to set up this playback preparer and queue navigator we can just pass in here the player and for our case here we are just going to use this exo player and you can just use another player so we can just go with this exo player here and for that case here now we can just call the media player notification manager here and we can just easily call here to show notification and we can just pass in here our exo player okay now i think we have finished to create here our on create method 
and perform necessary initialization. So we have here two methods. So the first method here is this on get root and the on load children. And these two methods here helps to provide a client connection. So we have a server, which is just our media browser service here to be a, a server and our client is, is switch the main activity. So when we want to send the data back to the main activity, we can just use these two method here to perform the connection. So the first method here, the on get root is going to provide, for example, the access to this service here. So for our case here, we are just returning here uh, this media root ID here. So if this user, for example, you don't want to be allowed, so you can just restrict them and not return this media root ID. And for our case here, we can just come to this on load children here and we can perform necessary logic in order to see if our user is actually allowed to browse this data. So we can just create here a when function. And here basically now we can just pass in the parent ID. And now we want to check if this parent ID is going to be and here we have our media root ID. And this is just the same media ID which we passed here. So when the user when we get the parent ID matching this, so we know that this user is actually allowed to browse this data. And for that case, we can just now create our result and send the result back to the to the client. And here we can just call this results sent. And here basically now we can just call the media source. And we can call this one ready function. And this one ready here we created from the previous video. So when we click here this one ready, you can see that this one ready is going to return here a boolean item. And if you see here, we are just going to see if our media source is or actually initialized. And for this case, if it is not initialized or the data is not loaded, we are just going to return false. And otherwise here we are just going to return true because we have invoked these items. And the listeners are actually which we are going to implement them right now here so as you can see here we have the media source and when ready and for this case here now we have to result to return the results so we can just rename this to is initialized and basically here now we can just check if this item is initialized or actually we want to send the results to get the data because here our media is already loaded and for this case here we can just call the results and we can call send result and here basically now we can just use this media source and we can call as media item so basically here now we are just sending the media item otherwise here our media item is or our media source is not loaded so we are just going to return null here so we can just send the result and pass in null and for that case here our data is not initialized and we can just check if our result so you can check this result sent and we detach if our result is not sent and because this one ready here is going to return true or false and here basically now we want to queue this and this one is just going to detach this message from the current thread and allow the send result to call call to happen later so we are just going to suspend this returning of result until when the media source have been fully loaded and for that case here now we can just easily uh, detach this method here and for that case here now we have already finished to send our result and otherwise else here the user is not allowed to browse our data and we can just easily we can just easily return here a unit Okay, so basically we have said that this onload children is going to send the result back to the to the client. And for our case here, we are just going to use this parent ID in order to send this result here, which is just the media browser item. If the user is allowed to provide this data or to access this data, then we can just check here this media source if is actually ready. And then we can just check here if this item is initialized. So the media source is already loaded. Then we can just send the result with the media item. Otherwise here, our media item is not fully loaded. Then we are just going to return null. And otherwise, if the result is not sent entirely then we want to suspend this sending of result until later time so we can just suspend those threads which are going to send the results and otherwise else if this is not the case then we return unit here because this user is not actually allowed to browse our media browser service okay also here we have to check here our item that when we're ready so we can just call this 
okay so if you navigate here to this on prepare media id here which is just from the audio media playback preparer so you can just come here because we forgot to finish up here our media item so you can just also use here media source and basically here now we can just call and here basically now we want to load the item when we already loaded this if the item are already loaded so we can just access the item inside here and also we have to call prepare here media and basically here now we can just pass in the media item so we can just use this media source okay so we have also prepared this prepare here passing the media item the item to play and play when ready and also we have to use this when ready here in order to execute this because our media source is ready and it has already fetched the data okay so now i think here we have just finished to implement here our media player service and we have already sent the result here from the on road children and on guild root so there are just several things which we want to finish up here and they're just minor thing and the first thing here what we want to do is to override their own custom actions so because we're just going to be sending these custom actions here and basically here we can just pass in here a when statement and we can just check this action and because we are just going to send this custom action by ourselves so we can just use our start media player action and basically here now we can just call the media player notification manager and we can actually show the notification and here we can just pass in the exo player and otherwise here we can just check if this is just going to be refreshing media so we can just pass in here and for that case here we can just call the media source dot refresh and otherwise else we don't have any other custom action so we just pass in a unit so basically here now we can just call the exo player to stop because our item has been just removed so we can just stop and basically here now we can just clear the media item so we can just call exo player dot clear media item and also here we have to override the on this stream method and inside here the on this stream method here we can just easily stop the services scope which we have created so we can just call this services scope dot cancel and after that we can just call exo player dot release so that we can just release the resources because our media player service has just been destroyed so guys so far we have made a bit of progress because we have implemented our server side play where we are just going to play our audio so as you can see here we have implemented this media controller here and the media player and make everything here and as you can see here our media session communicates directly here to our player and here our player now communicates this media session here can communicate to this because we have implemented this session callbacks and other things now one thing which we have not implemented here is just the connecting object that is going to help us to connect this to our ui and to do this we have to implement a connector and we can just do this in the next video so for now let's leave it here bye bye see you in the next video